Selection began today in the murder trial of Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer facing charges in George Floyd's death. Jay Gray is following the developments and he joins us now from Minneapolis outside the courthouse. Hi, Jay. Good evening to you. Hey there, Russ. Yeah, good evening and a very different scene here today. Yesterday we saw hundreds of protesters, people with banners, with signs uh, in and around the courthouse area, on the streets surrounding the courthouse. Today, though, just a handful of protesters. They were greatly outnumbered by law enforcement on the ground here today. With the courthouse under armed guard, locked down, jury selection in the murder trial of Derek Chauvin is now moving forward. Do you swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that you will truthfully answer all questions about your qualifications to serve as a jury? And there are. Would you agree that there are two sides to every story? Would you be willing to re-examine your personal opinions? So many questions in this case. Would you at least acknowledge that, you know, maybe you haven't heard everything to this point? Are you willing to base your decision on that evidence as it's presented in court? There is one important question, though, that can't be answered by potential jurors. Will Chauvin, who's pleaded not guilty to charges of second-degree murder and manslaughter after pinning George Floyd to the ground, his knee pressed against Floyd's neck for more than eight minutes, face a count of third-degree murder? Legal observers say that could be critical for the prosecution. Only one police officer in the history of Minnesota has been convicted for killing someone while on duty, and he was convicted on a third-degree murder charge. Judge Peter Cahill, who initially threw the charge out in the fall, says he's waiting on an appellate court ruling before deciding about reinstating the third-degree option for jurors. Chauvin's defense team has indicated if the third-degree charge is included, they'll file an appeal. Yeah, and look, as that legal tug of war continues, we did get word today from the defense attorneys, mind you, uh, that Floyd's family apparently turned down what those lawyers call a significant settlement offer to avoid a separate civil trial. We reached out to the attorneys for the Floyd family. Uh, they've declined to comment at this point, Russ. Lots of new developments tonight. Jay Gray in Minneapolis. Thanks.